SB 1024 was developed in collaboration with thousands of people from all corners of the state. There may be no other bills um, that address racial inequality, strengthen our economy, protect our environment, help Connecticut attract and retain younger workers, and lower the cost of housing for everyone all at the same time. We can make our state better if we shed the prejudices and fears that have driven our zoning practices and instead intervene to create more opportunity. It's really about providing opportunity and allowing the market to determine whether a particular kind of housing is going to be developed or not. The status quo is clearly not working. This bill still gives towns a lot of control over zoning and simply supports responsible land use. As a pastor, I think it's the morally right thing to do to provide every resident with the opportunity to flourish and grow. And I think that happens most in diverse communities and anything we can do to help uh, legislate Legislate that I think is important. Fortunately, building more diverse housing stock and expanding the amount of housing is not a zero sum game. CCEH supports SB 1024 as this legislation seeks to increase the state's housing supply, diversify our housing stock, thus creating more equity in communities occupied by marginalized members. 1024 strikes an appropriate balance between statewide progress and local control. I'm Richard Ives. I'm the first selectman for the town of Brooklyn. For a town like Brooklyn, I believe this helps us in many ways. Ultimately, conversations need to be backed by concrete actions to make these towns more inclusive and open to all kinds of people. And ultimately, ultimately, we need to desegregate Connecticut. Zoning can be used for good, and we should make sure that it is used for good. We must meet this urgent moment with action. SB 1024 makes Connecticut better, and I hope you vote in favor of it.